So I was just talking to a songbird over at the side there. They seem to take part in conversations very joyfully in groups and in singles and one will take up for the next one when it goes off in a, in a joy lark. A bunch of them will say things at once if they feel it very emphatically. <laughs> and so I said just now, what, what would you like to say in particular? And they're fluent in uh, telepathy with, with humans, but they vocalize the, the response and telepathically impart the response. And humans are only just hearing chirps and stuff like that. They, they just don't comprehend it. They don't have the key to understanding and remembering quite yet. So, so to get back to this question I just had, I said, what is it that we, you would like to say in particular? And one over to the side here, it said, uh, we would like to say, don't say, may you die of COVID. Don't say, may you die of COVID. And they indicate that that is being said by the lizards. Now, the lizards in California are mostly not that big. They might be four inches long when they're grown up, but there's a lot of them and many different colors. You know, lizards are kind of chameleon sorts here in California, and the colors that they change into have to do with camouflaging themselves against uh, earth tone backgrounds. For instance, there are, there are lizards, uh, all of the same family, the fence lizard family, that some they sit on concrete and they turn kind of gray, or they sit on a bark and they turn kind of speckled uh, brownish gray, or they sit on a, a dark tree trunk at, at, in another area. They sit on a dark tree trunk and they become chocolate brown, and if they sit on a black rock, they turn black or dark gray. So so lizards have that ability, but they also have I feel a relatively limited repertoire of telepathy. I'm thinking that they may be overlit by the Drax or reptilian races, uh, just as the songbirds are overlit and other birds I'm getting tele dark interference right now. It might be a, a, a reptilian or drac that that's dissing the 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 beings that overlight the songbirds. They're saying that this they are very overlit by bad bad being. But but my feeling is that they that the blue avian race of Venus is very much in sync with the with the human heart chakra, and I love that chakra. So I'd be willing to say, for me, that the Dracs are wrong about that. For others who have more Drac blood in them and yet are human, they may uh, relate more to that rep reptoid strain. There's quite a commotion in the backyard today. I don't know if I could talk to you about it all, but just to get back to the to the lizards. Uh, they're saying, may you die of COVID. And the songbirds are saying, don't say that. Ah, uh, so they say that I might say, dear me, dear me, whatever you do, don't say that. <laughs> this is one over here, really cool. The uh, There's a raven over on the left and it's talking too, but the thing about ravens is, I find that they vocalize words quite a bit, but they don't do telepathy in the in the fluent, flowing, like river of light manner that the songbirds do. And it could be that greater word fluency amongst a, avian types creates a kind of barrier against avian telepathy. Just a thought. It's, it's not a definite truth. It's, it's just uh, what I've noticed in recent years. 
So there's that. So I've heard many admonitions in the last hour or so about not saying, may you die of COVID. Very important, the, the songbirds say, not to say that. Make your speech in the telepathic plane very light and joy, full of joy. I think that's what they're saying. I heard the strangest thing just now. I, a plane was going over, and we light workers don't like the sound of planes and motors at all. Uh, we find that it uh, like um, interrupts the pure light of our DNA. And apparently the songbirds know this too, um, because as the as the plane went over, the songbird I've been talking to over on the right here said, "Dear me," you know, in a, in a joyful tone of voice, said, "Dear me, Vecker doesn't like me." Now this word Vecker is a word that they've been using this afternoon for the reptiles, the, the lizards, and maybe, maybe we're talking Drax or uh, the overlighting species that's, say, invisible to us, um, the overlighting species of the reptiles and possibly of the dinosaurs that are, they say, now extinct, although time will tell. Um, so the songbird on the right said, I asked it just now, Do you, what is your name? And it said, because of Ecker, we don't have a name. They will catch us and they explained like with an image, grab our throat or cut our throat and bind us up if we say our name. Uh, I don't know what that's about. So they don't say their name, I guess. And um, so, but anyway, I asked what the songbird meant when it said that Vecker was 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 angry, and and the songbird was feeling kind of tamped down or dampered down as the plane went over, very quiet, very. Very, very quiet. Not upset or anything, but just very, very quiet. And uh, the songbird said that it um, that it pointed in its like vision. It pointed towards the lizards, and it said, "Vecker, when Vecker is angry, it sends those things over." Now I don't think the lizards themselves can do that. Uh, I think it must be the overlighting beings. beings. I might be wrong though, maybe the lizards can do that because they have, I think, strongly developed third eye points. So it is possible, I guess. Maybe we'll know more in the future. <laughs>